Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. Without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Create a new composition with full HD settings with 29.97 FPS. Choose a background color you like. I am taking white a background color. Then click OK. Alright. Now we are ready. Right click here, go to new and select text. Let's type the text follow me. Now take the selection tool and adjust its position. After this open effects and presets and search for bullet train effect. Drag it on the text for applying this effect. Ramp review it. First step is done. Now right click here, go to new and the select shape layer. Now take the rounded rectangle tool and create a shape like this. Let's adjust its position by dragging it with the selection tool. Fill a color you like. I'm taking this color, but you are free to choose any color you like. Now select the shape layer and open transform window. Now go to one second and add a keyframe on position, scale, and rotation. Then come back to 20 frames and drag the shape outside of the work area like this. And set the scale value to 0 and rotation value to 1. Now select all keyframe and press F9 to easy ease them. Ramp review it. Now, right click here go to new and then select text. Type on Place it in the middle of this shape. Change the text color to white. Now go back to a few frames, select the layer. Then add a keyframe on opacity and set the value to zero. Then go to few frames forward and set it to 100. Now select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Press spacebar to ramp review it. Now again right click here, go to new and select text and the type Instagram. But you can choose your own social media platform. Change the text color to this. Now adjust its position. Let's go to Effects and Presets and search for the effect, Slow Fade On. Apply it to the text. You can see the applied keyframes of a layer by pressing U bottom, but don't forget to select the layer. Ramp review it. It is too slow to me. Alright, we can fix this, just go to the timeline and decrease the duration of it by dragging in the end keyframe. Take your time to adjust it. Now it looks good to me. Take your time to adjust it. Let's add some vibrant feel. Select the layer, click to this add button, then go to the property, then fill color, then select RGB. Now you can go to the color section and pick any color you want. I am picking the same color, so it matches with the whole composition. We are done with this final text. It looks nice to me, 
Now, it's time to animate a few icons. I have some PNG images. You can download them from Google or you can create them by yourself easily. First I am taking the icon PNG from the project window. Let's adjust its position. Now go to effects and presets and search for fill, apply this effect to the image and change the color you like. I am taking the same color to match the composition. Now let's give it a pop-up feel. For doing this, select the image and then select the pan behind tool or anchor tool, then place the anchor point to this position. Now select the image layer and go to transform. Now please remember the recent scale value of it, because at the last keyframe we are going to put this. The scale value may not be the same to everyone, so I am not mentioning the exact value of this. Just take a look at how you should play with the scale value to give it a pop-up feel. OK. It seems so fast. Let's make it a little bit slow. First, select the keyframes, then hold Alt and drag the last keyframe. By doing this, the time length will increase properly. Now select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Take your time to adjust it. Ramp review it. Cool. Looks good to me. By the way, you are free to play with the other properties, so be creative. OK. Now take the Instagram icon from the project window. Adjust its scale and position according to your need. Let's select the layer and open transform. Now add a keyframe here on position and scale. Then go back to few frames and drag the Instagram icon outside the work area and change the scale value to zero. Make sure that you follow the all keyframe placements, I cannot mention the exact value of the keyframes, because the values may not be the same for everyone. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Ramp review it. It looks nice to me. Okay. We are almost done. I have a custom made explosion composition, and I am going to use that in this project. Hey! Don't worry, you can also create this, I already make a small tutorial of that, you can find that link in the description. Ok. Let's drag the pre-made composition in our timeline. Then adjust its position. Now hold and drag the starting point at the very last keyframe of our project. Take your time to adjust it. Press spacebar to ramp review it. It looks nice to me. Take your time to adjust the explosion timing. So it seems that text came out from that explosion. Now, right click here, go to new and select text. Type your Instagram handle.
adjust its position and scale like this. Make sure you remember the final size and position of this text. Now take anchor tool and place the anchor at this position. Now go to a few frames where the explosion about to start, then select the text layer and go to the transform and add a keyframe on position and scale. Make the scale value to zero and keep the position the same. Now go to 10 frames forward, then increase the scale value according to your need, and drag the text slightly to the upper left. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now we are done. Press spacebar to ramp review it. Cool. So let's give it to the final touch. Select all the layers, then go to 4 seconds and press ALT plus closing bracket to trim the unused timeline. Then select all the layers, right click and pre-compost it. Select move all attributes and name it in. Then click OK. Now we have a single layer for easy to use. Hey. Don't worry, you can change anything if you want, just double click this layer. OK. Select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Then right click on it and rename it out. By the way, you can use any name you want. Now drag the out layer to the end of the in layer. Just like this. Then right click on the out layer, go to time, and select the time reverse layer. Now we are done. Press spacebar to ramp review. Cool. In this way, you can create this type of cool animation for any other platform. Hey! You don't need to follow my every step, you can play with the other properties, and, you can also create a masterpiece. So be creative. And always try to think outside the box. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.